Oh, this place just looks so sad right now. What are you on about? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Good morning, everyone. I woke up today with just this like totally overwhelming feeling of gratitude, happiness, thankfulness for everything going on in my life right now especially you guys and i just want to start off this vlog by saying that thank you for being here thank you for tuning back in i hope you're excited for a really fun vlog because you guys have been asking for a longer vlog so i'm making it my life's mission to make this one longer yeah, today is a big day because today is the first day really that we've had any type of furniture delivered you guys are literally probably thinking like what what are you actually waiting for like why aren't you just moving into the house with the kids I feel like we only really have about like a certain amount of time of a window of time get stuff done in the day and also where we're currently staying is about an hour's drive from our house so the time we've driven here like done what we need to do the kids like need their naps or it's lunchtime or whatever so going as fast as we can with it and it feels slightly frustrating that we're not like staying in here right this second but I'm really hoping that over the course of the next couple of days or over the course of this vlog hopefully we will be finally in we have the sofa delivery tomorrow which i can't wait for it's like my dream sofa I had a bit of a delivery from ikea this morning so let's go and show you that this is romeo's new trick He's so he does this goes up to and then just sort of sits yeah oh, and that's when it's dangerous nice so he's turning one in a few weeks <laughs> not you your birthday when's your birthday saint July, clever boy. We booked something very exciting for this little boy's first birthday in a few weeks. And it's just, I just feel really like, <laughs> we're due a bestie catch up in this vid, guys. So this is what we are dealing with today. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my TikTok, but I posted like a, I'm posting quite regularly actually on TikTok. So if you're not following me on there, then make sure you do. And also, I actually had a call with my YouTube partner, manager person this morning and she told me to tell you guys to please subscribe because it would mean the actual world to me it helps create these videos and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying them so you just kind of like come onto youtube and you just like search your favorite youtubers names always make sure you subscribe because it means a lot to the creator it can be one of those things that kind of like slips your mind but it really helps this is what we're building today. We have a couple of these little appliances we can get plugged in. Mum, I also want this. You want fruit like that? Yeah. Sure. A couple of bed frames to build. Oh, Saint, we need to build your, your bed. So this furniture, well, I say furniture, it's just a couple of bed frames from Ikea. Um, now, they're actually just going to be like placeholder bed frames. Just to keep Just us for us to get into the yeah. house and be staying in here. Delivery time furniture, as I'm sure all of you know, is it takes always weeks. like the bed frames that we've yeah. we've actually ordered. They like they're actually not gonna be here until like the end of May, which is a couple of months away really. So And then that could go in the spare room, so it's not when gonna it's, just and then yeah, that's gonna be spare yeah. room stuff, isn't it? What else have we got? Well, you gotta wait, you gotta sit back and relax and we'll see it all in one minute. That's Romeo's little Facebook marketplace pickup. Do a little clean. That can be okay. your warm up DIY project today. It took Easy a little bit longer than it should have. No. Two minutes. I'm actually really pleased with this. This is a little changing table. It's probably too small for Romeo now, but cute for a baby baby. <laughs> hey. Come on, Romeo, come on. <gasps> Wow, you're so fast. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Come wow. on. Look at those big so stumps. strong. Yeah. Yeah. Come into my brother's, brother's room, mummy. Okay, time to build Sainty's room. Well, yeah, time it. You want me to time how fast you do this one? Yeah, this is literally going to be Tamlin's job. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a lot. Either of our phones, because they're both being used It's one screens. phone free. Yeah, that means 20 minutes, and we, we can go for lunch if it's 10 minutes per bed. I'm so hungry. What do you want to have for lunch? Pardon? Yeah. 
That's I'm on that vibe. Lupe! Anyone darling? Saint was playing with something. So where are those screws that you had? Oh, are you holding them? Saint, look at what's on your pillow. <laughs> and this one. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> I know. Do you ever have like a like a little boy bed like that? I remember having my. Oh, no, no. I remember my childhood bed. My childhood bed had like a princess canopy over it, you know. And I had all of my. Um, I used to collect. You know what a sniffer sniffer is? Yeah. It's like a ty toy. If you guys don't know about sniffer, I don't know if I've ever mentioned sniffer. Sniffer is like my childhood teddy that I still have. He's a little like sausage dog. TY toy. Where is in storage? He must be in storage somewhere, poor thing. But he's still going around, do you know what I mean? He must be like 23, 24 years old now. No, he's doing well. Um, we've lost a few of the little beads that like cushion him up, but he's still there. He's still there. And um, at the end of my bed, I used to have like all of my TY toys. Oh, Dad, look at Saint's pillow. Oh, oh, That's so cool! It's like Dino Ranch. It's like Dino Ranch. Yeah. Oh, this is nice and easy. Look at this. Look, zip opening on the duvet cover. So we've ordered a really nice bed that I'm very excited for from um, like an interior design company out here in Houston and the kid stuff you guys actually are not ready for both of their bedrooms are um gonna be pottery barned esque out and i'm so excited if you know me if you've been here for a long time you will know pottery barn is just like a dream store to me i'm so excited to be finally living in america and just like being around pottery Park. i've just like designed them the coolest room saint has a very cool bed Romeo's room is going to be a Winnie the Pooh themed one. Do you want to help? Yeah. Okay. It's a more for you. It's a more school library. Really? Yeah. Want to know? Yeah. What cover do you want? What do you want on top? The dinosaur or the footprints? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. That's it. Mine's down at the Whoa, bottom. Whoa, guys. Uh, and this one. Uh. Daddy, we did it! Yeah. Wow! We did it! We did it! Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, this is your big boy bed. <gasps> oh, this is his first proper big boy bed that like belongs to us, Con. Now, Ron can sleep in my bed. Okay. Romo can sleep in your bed. That's how you sleep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, good night, Saint. I'll take you in. There you are. <laughs> Dad. Saint is on FaceTime to his cousins. He's just gone upstairs to his room. Oh, and then this dinosaur bed. They literally have the cutest relationship. Fun fact, it was actually such a hard decision moving away from family, primarily just because of Saint's relationship with his cousins. Saint, have you shown them your dinosaur bed? Yeah. Are you showing them Romeo's room now? Romo, look, he's on the phone for you. <laughs> You're so good at showing people things on FaceTime, saying so he's too cool for us now, isn't he? Just me and you, Romo. Costco we picked up this the ninja deluxe kitchen system i don't think i'd ever seen it before but we absolutely love ninja products and this one looked amazing literally make everything with it smoothies you can chop stuff with it you can puree stuff you can make dough with it it just looked really good so i'm excited also bought the ninja 
air fryer because the volt because of the voltage difference we kind of needed all new appliances like this so we went for this one it's weird because it doesn't look like half as big as the one we had in the uk but it's supposed to be able to do the same amount of stuff so we'll see one of our favorite spots favorite cuisines it's so good we've literally been here like five times <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, we buddy. So, Lupe is Tex Tex, which is obviously Mexican food, but with a Texan twist. One of their dishes, which is my absolute favourite thing in the whole wide world, is this dish called queso, which is like. When I say melted cheese, that makes it sound quite gross. It's like a, it's like a really thick, creamy, cheesy dip, and it's just like chef's kiss it's just amazing it's easy quick just delicious Good food. but also really nice to have like for like a special occasion like i feel like a chilled birthday dinner here would be really nice too it's, a fantastic establishment. it's just great and it's good with kids it's very hot to me that they're gonna have this bond for the rest of their life like I just I love it I'm so happy I feel like their like friendship is starting to like properly emerge now yeah wait until Yo is properly walking about I know about I know not even necessarily talking but just now to like yeah. walk about and, I know. and understand I think Romo's gonna be giving the same gonna run for his money Romo's gonna be joking Romo is literally going to drive Big Rome. Yeah. Crazy. Like, it's so funny the difference in our personality. Like I was saying to Connor the other day, um, we got same some colouring crayons for his Easter colouring Peter Rabbit book. And Saint spent ages lining up all of these crayons on the table, like perfectly, all in line, all of like colour coordinated. And then Romo comes along and literally just shoves it off the table. And I, I just can feel that that's going to be like a common theme in, in their life. Zane is very like, I don't know how to describe it, like careful and quiet and likes his things a certain way. And Romeo is just like a bulldozer. It's so nice when they kind of come together and like find their, find their groove. Honey needs a trip to Sephora. Good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day. Do you know what I was thinking this morning? I can't believe that this crazy journey of like, back when we sold our house in September, October time, to now the start of April, the journey that we went on emotionally, physically, mentally, in those months i just can't believe that i'm finally like living in the days now where it's coming to an end like we packing up our suitcases this morning we're gonna be leaving our family friend's house where we've been staying and we're taking it all over to our new house today stop living life out of suitcases <laughs> and out of storage units and the dog's flights are booked um they're coming out here next thursday and just been like filling out all of the paperwork and stuff for them and i just really can't believe that like this moment right now that i'm literally living in this second the moment i just never ever ever knew 
if it was gonna work out. This is the kind of moment, like, stepping into our new house that I would see in, like, you know, when I, whenever I would think about our future and what I really wanted and when I would meditate and stuff like that, but just the uncertainty of all of it. I just am waking up the, these last couple of days with a real sense of just gratitude for believing in the journey, holding the vision and trusting the process. We haven't had anywhere to like really call our own place with our own things in it. For what feels like such a long time and just the idea that we get to be like living life like that again you know with all the kids stuff and we can just chill there and it's not like we have to pack up our suitcases and move another time and we're not waiting on any uncertainty for like um a visa acceptance or i don't know i just like i can't believe that the time is really here and i just feel really really happy and i just i really want to say that i hope that none of my content about this journey about documenting like what this process has been like for us so far has come across at all in any way. Gloating, showing off. I know that you guys wouldn't take it in that sense anyway, but I saw a girl's TikTok actually the other day that was really, really sweet. And this woman was incredibly self-aware, which was so refreshing to see on the internet. Someone tagged me in it and she was saying about how she was watching our videos and it was kind of triggering this feeling in her of like they have their life together why do I feel like I don't and I just really wanted to talk about that on here because I think it's just really easy to and she said this in her video like it's really easy to see someone's online content as like at face value for like that's what their life is and we all know that Instagram and stuff is a highlight reel and all of that but I just kind of wanted to say that if you've been feeling like like that too I just want this to serve as your reminder that you deserve to be happy in life you deserve nothing less than that like you deserve to be living a life that you feel happy in to wake up in every day and it's taken years for me to get to this point since being here i've realized that i kind of forgot what it was to feel like genuinely happy in life and i know i'm so incredibly blessed i have two beautiful happy healthy children I'm married to a wonderful wonderful man that loves me more than anything in the world I'm incredibly lucky to be calling this my career and i i i know that like 18 year old me would see my life now and be like oh it really did all work out how we hoped and dreamed it would it's just not to say that throughout the process of all of that it wasn't hard and there weren't moments where i felt like it wasn't all going to be okay in the end i mean you guys have been around for long enough to know the stuff that i've been through and i wish i could go back and say to my past self through all of the really really tough times in my life but without those tough times you wouldn't be able to be living the life that you really did dream of all along. And that's not to sound cliche, and I know I can't go back to my past self and say that, but let me say that to you, that whatever you're going through right now that may, may seem tough, you're not sure if you can get through it, you ask why it's happening to you, like why do I have these circumstances, why is this happening to me? Let's just trust that it all is just a little bit of character building and that without the really, really shit moments, it makes it really hard to appreciate the great times in life. And I just feel like that's where I am at the moment. I'm just so, I'm just so happy, guys. Like, I'm so happy with my life. But it's not to say that I haven't always been happy. But when we are happy, that should absolutely be celebrated. And we all deserve to feel that, don't we? Like, we all deserve to feel great and to feel in love with life and it's up to us to make that decision to be in love with our life so yeah i just kind of feel like the like today and yesterday and tomorrow all just feel like r highly emotional days for me because it's like on the flight here it was like oh my god like we're really doing this signing the lease to our new property it was like oh my god we're really doing this but now like actually moving into the property within the next couple of days and feeling like i can start like having a home again that is ours 
and I can like get into the grind of what it's actually like to be living here like the last week two weeks have honestly just obviously been about moving into the house and like any free second that Connor and I get when the kids are asleep ordering furniture calling up utility companies organizing things to do with the house and just doing it all with like an intention in mind that if we do it now and get it done soon rather than later that means that all of that fun can come when we're settled and I, yeah I just feel like I can't believe that like feeling settled is here again and I'm just really really excited for it and I just wanted to talk about it after I saw this really lovely ladies TikTok because it really like it really reminded me that she is worthy of feeling happy I am worthy of feeling happy we are all worthy of creating a life we love I was gonna swear there because I felt so passionate about it but we're keeping it PG if you come and watch my videos or not even my videos but you just like you watch people online you follow people online and you feel like you compare your life to theirs they have it all together they have this this and this and you are lacking in this this and this one mentality switch that I've adopted over the last few years has been removing the comparison from it and seeing the thing that is making you feel like you don't have your life together or you wish you had what they had as a form of inspiration rather than lacking in life rather than comparing the two and my life is this and their life is this like at the end of the day if they can achieve it babe you can achieve it I look back at when I first started my YouTube channel and without my YouTube channel by the way I would not be here in America I would not have the children I have my life would be so different if I hadn't started YouTube at the time I did but at the time I started my YouTube channel guys my mum had just been diagnosed with cancer I felt incredibly alone in my life I don't I didn't feel like I had any friends I was depressed like that time in my life when I decided to take action and start creating a life I loved and obviously there have been ups and downs on the way I just think the key to it is just beginning like just starting and this totally was not meant to come on here and be like a motivational rant but I just wanted to share that with you because one and only goal I have with my community online with this platform with this YouTube channel it has always been and if you're an OG you will know my goal has always been to find a community of like-minded people that just want to create a life that they love for their best self to bloom in and I will never ever stop encouraging you you watching this video to chase the life of your dreams to believe that you deserve it and I just think it takes an amount of bravery and self-belief to do that and if you can't find that within yourself please let me give some to you because I believe in you I think you're amazing and I absolutely think regardless of whatever you have done whatever you have been through whatever your circumstances in life are you deserve to be happy and if you don't believe that happiness exists because I didn't believe at one point that happiness exists take it from me that happiness exists it can exist after you have lost your mum to cancer it can exist after you've been through some of the toughest shit in life um happiness is always going to be there waiting for you and you deserve it it's just there waiting for you so anyway let's crack on with the day after that little ted talk of the morning connor is actually about to head off to a car garage because he thinks that we finally found i literally cars i'm like pff, it goes over my head i could not care but he's found a couple of cars that we can like make a down payment on today and stuff and again i feel like a broken record saying all of this but it's quite hard to like get your name on stuff out here without a social security number without credit all of that but i think we found the situation that will be perfect for us to finally buy our car so yeah he's off to the car garage this morning to confirm that and then um later on this morning after Romeo has had his nap we are gonna head to a new house because we have our sofa delivery today we also need to head to a certain mall to pick up um some bits from pottery barn because i have some stuff there that i need to pick up i have a feeling that today's going to be a great day guys i'm ready i don't know why i bothered wasting my time but i've actually done my hair today one thing i found out here is that humidity just literally like zaps um 
like any style out of your hair. Oh, I've had to wash it a lot more. Like my hair. usually at the UK, I would wash my hair every five days. What do you think? Yeah, I've had to wash my hair like every three days. I've actually got dry shampoo in it today. I'm a little snack break, waking for Connor to get back from test driving the cars. I'm ready to wake up and then we can start our day. We've been staying with our family friends since we've been out in Houston. This is her beautiful house. I haven't really wanted to show too much since we've been here. It's just been really lovely to like be in their presence. It's almost felt like, well, we've always joked that she was my American mum because she was friends. She was like best friends with my mum during the time that we were in America. In fact, I never actually told you guys. We were here over Easter and she mentioned that she had a few bits of my mum's like a necklace and an apron this is going to be very very niche i don't know if any of you guys will have the memory of this but i do think i actually mentioned it on a vlog when we were living at the rental cottage back in the uk over the winter a cookbook of my mum's called texas ties it was from our friends out here uh, they used to swap gifts and like give each other fun things all the time and when we got here steph actually said oh I actually have a cookbook here from your mum. She was like, oh, I don't know where it is though, but I found it and this was what it was. So she had given my mum a Texas cooking book and my mum had given her a British cooking book. And in the in set of it, look what it says. And I literally found this on Easter, by the way, like Easter Sunday. And my mum had given this to her on Easter 2007. So- Mum, can you read it to me? Of course I can. It says, Dear Stephanie, hope you enjoy this. Giles and Deb, Easter 2007. Do you know who Deb is? Nanny Debbie. Nanny Debbie. Nanny Debbie gave Stephanie this book. Yeah. And now, who would have thought all these years later, Nanny Debbie's little grandson was coming to stay with Stephanie? It's just something about Houston that makes me feel very connected to my mum. I was actually thinking this morning about how I should come and chat with you guys about how I'm feeling about Houston and stuff now that obviously like you guys know how much I fell in love with California when we first flew out here. We'll come and chat about that but Houston just there's such an element to it that feels like home, feels wholesome. Obviously the beach is great and I'm, I do miss the beach so much like Connor and I lived to each other last night we miss taking the boys to the beach. Um, but there's just so much to do here and it's just so family oriented and we like it here, don't we? Are you happy here? You are? Do you like it? Do you feel like you're at home here? <laughs> oh, you can just never keep us away for too long. Is that mine? I think this is my, this might be like the third consecutive vlog in a row. We've had raising canes. <laughs> Honestly, raising our diet pain. has just consisted of. But you know what? I think maybe today and tomorrow will be like the last, but then it's the weekend and it's like. Oh, wait, give it, give us a Monday. <laughs> and then we'll start doing our home cooking. We could sin for a few more days. So we have finally secured a car. Yeah. Thank God. I am a little bit gutted i'll be giving back the truck i won't lie oh yeah you really like truck bikes i do you? like we're in truck town honey yeah we are in truck town just another big suv again um similar to what we had at home because you know we like it yeah. um family car you know yeah. one that we could get a little bit messy with our two kids and two dogs yeah. and not be worried about it so it's ideal for us gonna hopefully pick that up tomorrow yeah tonight or tomorrow and then we're really you know that's when we are potentially having our first night yeah in our house as well so big day tomorrow good morning houston it's a beautiful day there was a huge huge storm last night guys it was actually wild the storms here are actually really scary aren't they it's a little bit um crazy. did you hear wild. the night saying yeah did was you real big thunderstorm wasn't and there? lightning it was crazy it was nice it was nice <laughs> But yeah, it's like, honestly, the lightning sounds like it's on the other side of the window, doesn't it? Uh -huh. It was dinosaurs! It sounded like a tornado. It was dinosaurs! Oh my gosh, Dad, did you know that? What, a big T-Rex outside our house? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're here! Hello, hi, my name is you. So far, truck literally pulled up just as we got here too. So, I'm going to leave you guys here. 
and watch the magic unfold. I can't wait. interior design. Wow, look at our sofa! I'm on our sofa. One, two, three. Do we love our sofa? So much. So Too much. much. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be hard to get back up off from, isn't it? Friday night is on here. Gosh, yeah. I might just Sunday though. afternoons. <laughs> oh, I might yeah. just accidentally go. <laughs> so this is the sofa here and we ordered an extra ottoman to make it a bit more of a u-shape but it's a really different color this is a different fabric it's like an oatmeal gray and our sofa is like a really soft it's called nomad white this is almost like it's a bit scratchy that one isn't yeah. it so nice though i literally love it it's so awesome. much oh, no, quick. Arsenal's on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so comfy, isn't it? Can't it wait is. for our dining table to come this weekend. And for our TV to arrive next week. And if you're sat here, you've got a view of the lake. Yeah. I mean, I, I always envisioned it being this way around, but I like how when you walk in, I feel like the feng shui is good with this yeah. set up. And then... Yeah, it creates a bit of a walkway to there. Oh my god, guys, this actually feels like Christmas Day. I've just had all of these deliveries from Pottery Barn Kids. I think it's time for the biggest unboxing of my entire life, of my dream delivery in the whole world. Say, look at all of these packages we have to open. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Come Where's on. My scissors? I don't know. Let's go and get them. Yeah. And your scissors. Yes. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Oh look, Saint, a step stool for you. It's stool for Saint's toilet. <laughs> okay, this is Saint's duvet. Went for the hydro cool duvet yeah. insert from Pottery Barn. I've got all of our bedding from there. I don't know if you guys remembered from when we moved into our house in the UK, probably about five years ago now. I treated us to white company bedding, and I'm not joking. That investment for me is like just always worth it because it you just feel like when you like treat yourself to really nice bedding it just feels like you're staying in a hotel room every single night and it's just we just love bedding don't we so yeah and another one because saint is having like a big like um tree house bed that has two like bunk beds but it's like a tree house so that's just gonna be so much fun because we've already got a date for the cousins to come out and visit. Um, so they're just like, I can just tell it's just gonna be like a sleepover party in the Saints room. Oh wow. In the playroom, come on. Okay. God, I have the cutest little bin for Saints bathroom. I just thought that was like a perfect bin. It's really heavy actually, it looks really good quality. Okay, Romeo is down for his first nap in the house, which we're both chuffed about actually because we don't have any blinds or curtains yet. So we were like, oh my God, is he actually gonna go to sleep? Because it's like obviously the middle of the day and it's really bright, but he has, so very happy about that. And Con's just finished putting together the bed frame. So I thought that we could put the bed sheets on together and hang the towels up and do all of that kind of stuff just so like when we come tomorrow um it's just like good to go and we can just relax i definitely feel like since having the sofa in there it feels more like homely and like we can actually come and stay here now whereas yesterday when we came it was like oh my god like there's still so much to do can you yeah. read the book to me yeah now the bed's up i can read that book to you if you want babe i don't think it's going to be very interesting unless dad reads it to you and so tells you a story 
all about this is called the fairy Nova that lived form. on the cloud in the sky this is all about a fairy called nova foam wow. I got these pillowcases too actually from oh. pottery bar but so now the sofa's actually here i'm gonna try it because the sofa well this really nice rug coming because obviously this is just it's just like basically Downstairs. This bit feel more like living roomy. For these, and I thought, well, first of all, that they'd go really nicely with the rug, because the rug is kind of this pattern. Um, but I don't know whether or not to just like have a couple of cushions like this, or just literally leave it like plain, plain white. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to make that decision when the rug arrives and I've got like a throw and a lamp in here. I bought the nicest sheets from Pottery Barn. I went for this Belgian flax linen. The vibe I'm going for in here is very like, I want to say like coastal, neutral, peaceful vibe. You guys know me, my typical, um, decor choices that's the duvet cover and the duvet is arriving tomorrow which is why we're not staying here tonight tomorrow we'll have like we need here we can do like a food shop but i think i'm gonna start a whole separate vlog for that and then the towels i got this really nice like oatmeal color and these are so soft and fluffy oh my gosh i love them i nearly cried a minute ago um sitting on that sofa and just like really having so much gratitude just for today and i know we've already done like a big deep chat but really i was just in here like i can't believe this is real in that awkward stage where he needs by the time he needs like, an app yeah, by, his, by, by the time he's like three or two he's ready for him yeah. like he fights it yeah. come on mum well you want me to join in too yeah mum you join in mum I'll cuddle you do a lot of crazy eyes and you Everyone, Ellie's just finished editing this video, so we thought we'd come on and say goodbye. I just can't believe that, like, this is the last vlog where we're just like not in our home. <sighs> Next time you see us, we'll be living in our house. Get on set of coffee, just the small things, you know. That's what I'm looking forward to. Mm. I just can't wait for the boys to arrive as well. You know? <clears throat> One week. Yeah, it's all official, guys. Like, flights are booked. Flights are booked. Oh, we've, my God. We've spoken to the person who's going to be looking after them. Oh, my God. I'm just going to be such a nervous wreck when they're on the flight, though. I just know I will be. Well, luckily, we will be asleep for mm. half of it. Yeah. And then by the time we wake up, they'll be, like, <sighs> through a lot of the flight. If I can get to sleep, I bet I know what happened. I'll wake up at, like, 5 o'clock. Okay, good. I'm like, oh my god, like, the dogs are on the flight, like, I better check, and then I won't be able to get back to sleep. Yeah, and then you wake me up. Yeah. they have like, gone, they're on the flight. Okay. Yeah, my stomach's just gonna be a knot, but you know what, like, 
It'll be fine. Of course it'll be fine. Her being a... Heck, you'll love her. He loves a bit of an adventure. You know what's great? I've got therapy on that day. Fabulous. So. Did you have it this week? I've got it tomorrow. Just doesn't feel like home without them guys. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what we're going to do with her being hacked on that sofa. That's the first <laughs> thing they're going to jump on. They're going to... I don't even care. Oh. We'll let, we'll let them have a week on the sofa. I actually don't even And then it's... Like, it's no their sofa, sofa too. Uh, like, we're going to go and do a big... Oh, like, yeah, we've got to get their beds Costco and Costco trip again and go and get their beds and their New food. collars. They have to get American collars. Bowls. Bowls. We're going to get them bandanas. Bandanas. Um, Take them around the lake. Oh, I'm just so excited. I really, really, really have missed them so much. Like... Usually, obviously, we go on holiday and it's like, mm. oh, of course I miss them, but, like, I'm going to see them in a few days. This time, at, like, the, I would probably say the last week especially, I have just been really emotional about them. And I'm just so flipping thankful that we finally have their flight booked. Mm-hmm. And I just can't wait to cuddle them. I just feel like, you know, it just doesn't feel like... Have you guys a good cuddle? It just doesn't feel like home, though, without them. Do you, do you know what I mean? Do you reckon they'll be excited to see us? I hope so. I mean, they say that dogs don't have any... Um, like, what's the word? Like, they don't understand time. So they mm. probably just like feel like they saw us yesterday or something. No, Herbie knows. It's Herbie like understands time. Yeah, home's not the same about him, is it? It's not. Just hearing... We don't have anyone to cuddle up to apart from each other in the evenings, you know? I know. Like... There have been times where I've really felt like, like when we were picking between Houston and San Diego, especially, I was like, yeah. I just need a cuddle from them right now and just like help us decide, play with them and run around with them, you know. Just yeah, just turn around uh, and Herbie sat there like judging us. <laughs> he sat up with his He's back like, pushed up against the corners. Why are you guys, are you guys still doing? thinking about this? Just you know what the answer is. Um, speaking of which, actually, I thought that we could talk a little bit about how we're finding Houston versus San Diego now just to kind of like close that chapter because I felt like when we were in San Diego we were doing lots of talking about how much okay. we loved San Diego yeah and now it's like oh yeah we're just like moving to Houston by San Diego <laughs> and I feel like see we you later we haven't really discussed it but I feel like it's a bit hard because obviously we already knew Houston we've already been here I spent mm. loads of my childhood here we knew what the vibe was. So when we came here, it was a lot easier just to jump straight into house viewings. Yeah. And then obviously ever since, like, we've just been on a mission to move ourselves into the property. Mm. Um, so we haven't actually had that much time to do exploring and stuff, which is fine because now we live here. We'll be, yeah. We've so probably we done quite a bit, though, to be fair. Well, I mean, we did stuff around Easter, but what's your Bounce vibe? Park. We've been to Lupe about 50 times. Lupe about 50 times. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, no, literally, we didn't tell you. Um, when we walked into... When we were sat down at that table at Lupe the, yesterday, which I vlogged, there's a waiter that's been there every single time that we've been there, and he walked by, okay. and he was like, oh, You're hi, guys. Like, guys. And I was like, us again. Sh- shout out, Ryan. Do we live here at Lupe now? <laughs> yeah. He's actually our local Lupe, so you'll be seen as much more often. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, that annoying yeah. British family. What have they turned up from? They've just not moved. Anyway, yeah, so what's your what's mm. your vibe? Well, it's two different Places. lifestyles. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. It's two different lifestyles. Houston's obviously Houston's a city. But where we're living is obviously in the suburbs, whereas San Diego's like even though where we stayed in La Jolla it was not city centre, but it wasn't quite suburbs either, was it? Mm. But it was still like quiet town vibes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we've made the right decision with Houston. So do I. Like you said, it's you're familiar with Houston. We have home comforts here. We know people here. I feel like it's just more wholesome. It's a much easier transition. Mm-hmm. And for our first year in America, I feel that's the right decision for our boys. Me too. It's t- it's tough though because it's hard to it's hard to compare because they're so different. They're so different. But in San Diego, we were living like it was a holiday. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like we were. Yeah. But we that were, is we that were, is the Californian lifestyle. It though. is, but we were staying in a location which we wouldn't live. 
So it was yeah. hard to like compare. Yeah. Because we stay we're staying in an Airbnb which is like thirty seconds from the beach, which is mm. obviously like, oh my god, amazing that I would live here. Also like twenty million pounds so Exactly. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> San Diego, we wouldn't be living that lifestyle to that same degree. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And that's definitely something that we obviously had to consider. Yeah. But I just feel like when you're in California, it kind of has a bit of a spell on you. Like, Bubby, it definitely had a spell on you. Oh my God. You were Abs- Calif- I, I mean, California it's still, fever. It still has a spell on me like it's just it's romantic isn't it it's, it's like just, california it's just beautiful like i loved when we were there i just really loved taking the boys to the beach yeah like but going to the, going to the beach watching the sunset can, before, and then go home and put the boys to bed like it's lethal like that can make you spend silly amounts of money on yeah oh my god you know i, I mean? totally agree like Oh, one week of doing that before you put the kids to bed and you're like, how do we come up with £10 million? To <laughs> yeah. Seriously, like, what do we have What to are we selling in order yeah. to Our souls. figure this out? <laughs> California's not going anywhere. No. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm okay. so... Now that I'm here and, like, we're in Houston and we officially live here now, I am so excited to be able to vacation Mm. in california day, yeah, yeah yeah like i'm really excited to like go there for, for a, a few month weeks or so yeah in the summer or something and the same actually with florida um mm. and we never actually not even just in. those two destinations we've got oh, no, yeah. south carolina we got lake tahoe wyoming we've got wyoming we've yeah, got I know. even Canada. austin even we've austin austin down the road like nashville yeah, there's so many places that we want to visit, but California is just always going to be there to visit, and I'm very excited for that. Whereas, if we lived in California, we wouldn't have been able to afford the travel, which mm. is um, definitely a huge part of this three-year visa experience. Like, yeah, I don't want you know, to put all of our eggs in one basket and mm. have to compromise the rest of our life and what we enjoy. Yeah. Just to be yeah. able, just to be able to say we live in California, we live in California yeah. and go to watch the sunset every single night on the beach for our kids. Even that was amazing. <laughs> and imagine her being Hector. Oh no, don't. That actually gets me. Yeah, but it's not I going would, anywhere. I would come up with ten million pounds just not. to find a house for her being Hector to run around the beach. It's not oh, going anywhere. Stop it. No, Plus, no, no. It's listen, not. listen, listen. Let's think. Let's just say, okay, we can only live in California for two years. Mm. of our life at some point mm. i think it'd be better if we wait until Ro- saint romeo can enjoy that a little bit more as well and they can have yeah. those memories for themselves yeah so we're saving california california is not going there we'll see you in a few years i feel like i feel like in our life like we're meant to live in california at some why point why do we move that there no <laughs> Oh my god, don't ask me so tempted to cry. No, I'm no, I'm definitely happy that we made this decision because... No, every time we go into our new house, well, just I know it's the right decision. Just anything, like going into our new neighbourhood. H-E-B is a big seller. Yeah, the, the grocery store, like, um, time that we've done anything like with the kids. Even like going to parks and stuff here because California, a huge thing was the beaches here. There are so many parks and playgrounds and like greenery and that's really nice. But it just feels more wholesome and more family here. And I just think it was just the right decision for us. And I'm really excited yeah. to, like, explore it more. How I'd explain it is, like, although in California you can walk down the road and say hi and everyone's, like, nice and they'll have a chat with you. But here it's, like, especially where we're going to be living in the suburbs, it's more, like, community. Like, you could go... Mm. There there's, definitely wasn't there's that. like events yeah. do you know what I mean yeah like there's a like this Saturday for example there's a park run where the community's raising money and then they've got like food stands and the Bit, little like private s- gig bits and for the families bits. to go to and um I just feel like every everywhere here there are families I feel like the places we were going to look at in San Diego they just didn't feel like there were families around really mm. which might sound strange but like i don't know if it's just because there are kids everywhere here yes whereas in san diego you've got a lot more of your like rich old couple that have retired not even that just young 
adults, 22 years old, just finished college, and then mm. California Dream, that yeah. California Dream. Quite rightly, babe. But here, but, yeah. it's just like family central, which is wonderful. But everything we're discussing is our what. Well, I mean, we've been in America for what five weeks. It's everything that we've seen with our own eyes so far. Mm. So we, you know, we could be completely wrong, but it's just how this is just how we see life, isn't it? Just I part of the journey. Part of the journey. But now I'm excited to um, be in Houston for the next year. Even going on to like Houston TikTok and seeing how much there is to do yeah. for kids. But yeah, that's that's the Connor Swift chat about San Diego and Houston. Let's see if I speak the same in six months. <laughs> when it's summer and it's like a thousand degrees here that every single person t- tells me about. <laughs> and I'm like, I love the heat. Bring it on. I don't care. Bring it on. Heat, thunderstorms and hurricanes. Let's go. Stop it. No, I'm really, I'm just feeling really grateful. I'm really excited to be oh, here. Yeah. And I just can't believe that, like, you know, after all of these months of back when we first sold our house in October and then applied for a <sighs> visa, we like, are, the, all, like, living out of a suitcase <sighs> for the last... Can we, can we just take a moment for ourselves and just, like, really think about... How we've done this. <laughs> what were we even thinking? I know. But also how brave we were. Yeah. Little two kids chasing dreams. Brave or naive, who knows, but... You know. We're just experiencing life and enjoying it. I know. Any stories we've got to tell both our kids when they're older. I know. All the pictures of Romeo outside the Cheesecake Factory a few rounders. I know. Tell our house, they've like, we put our house back on the market with this intention, so... Mm. Now we're here. It was, it's been eight months since we sold our house. Mm. That's just set in the house, let alone... I know, I know. I'm really excited just to mm. feel like we have home again, do you know yeah. what I mean? Start building those connections. Yeah. Still just start living life again. Start living life again. I yeah. can start the gym again, yeah! And me. Can you start the gym with me? We can have another baby. <gasps> Spoiler alert. No, Connor, don't, because everyone thinks I'm pregnant every single video anyway, and I'm not pregnant. But... I definitely have another baby on my mind. All you need to see is baby pictures of Yo-Yo or Saint and let's... I'll tell you what it is, is that Romeo is very close to walk-in now. When we took him to the Children's Museum the other day, there's a walker there, and oh, yeah. Romeo's obviously not had his walker since we were in the UK, which is about four or five weeks ago now, and when he had his walker there, he wasn't really, like... Just sort of stood on it. Yeah, he and we had to hold yeah. him. In this Children's Museum, guys, mm. it's like someone put wheelies on him or something like that he was like he got the burners on he was off he was like see ya did his big (laughs) stomps all the way didn't need any support and i just thought (gasps) and then he went on the where has my tiny little baby gone you know mums will know those moments where you're just like yeah what like you've now officially entered Another era, like I, I've had so many of those with Saint. Saint's a teenager like, now, though. Saint is well. literally like too cool for anyone. When he wears those jeans that he was wearing today. Oh yeah, he's, he's such a cool literally guy. a teenager. I know, and he's so smart and clever, and I'm just so proud of him. I know you were saying earlier that you, Eddie thinks he's coming into his imaginative era. Oh yeah. Oh my god, guys, it's just the cutest thing in the whole world. He's got a new favourite toy that he loves called Dippy the Diplodocus from Ikea which just is like a massive big, dinosaur toy, yeah. and um, a couple of nights ago was the first ever time I've heard him like, I don't know how to describe it like talk to his toy as if his toy was going to talk back to him and like have he was like having a conversation yeah. with Dippy and um, oh my god it's just the freaking cutest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life and I just thought oh you know yeah, he has, yeah. I just love having this time with them, though. I know. Like, this time of just... Yeah, I, I had a moment the other day, actually, where I was thinking, like, in a few years' time, Saint's going to be in school. Stop. And then five days a week. Five oh. days a week, and then, like, these... Mor- Not ready. These mornings where... Mornings and days where we get just to... I know, when Romeo goes down for a nap, and you and Saint just go to the park together, just dad yeah. and some time, like... He's going to be at school. Yeah. I'm not emotionally... I'm going to miss him. <sighs> He's going to have his backpack so on. So much. I'm just 
going to school. Oh, no, Connor, don't, because I will get emotional. I'm not ready for that. And you'll come home, what have you learned about today at school, saying, I'm going to see my friends. Well, hopefully um, that's not in, like, two years' time, yeah, that's know, in 12 years' time. I know, but I'm just saying. But, Mum and Dad won't be cool anymore. But I do just really love having this time with them. Like, it feels so chaotic, and it feels so, like, oh, my God, like sometimes there just aren't enough hours in the day to get stuff done but I just know that we're going to look back on these days and be like that is just so yeah. cool that we did that the four of us like mm-hmm. and we'll make some incredible memories there we moved countries together like and it's just been all of us every day it gets chaotic but we just wouldn't change it I wouldn't there's, change any of it you there's know? beauty in the swift chaos yeah if you guys have kids but a little, you'll know, like a baby and a toddler, it can be just Especially like... Especially Romeo now, because he doesn't stop moving, uh, worried for us when he starts walking. Oh, me too. Especially because of his perso- whole, whole like persona of just like... Just knock into everything. It's like he thinks he's got like... Saint was very different as a baby. Saint was always quite careful and like would take his time getting to mm-hmm. understand like, like, for example going down a step, Saint would always be like... He's still quite careful now, is that distance. He? Yeah. Like, I need to see how far with my hand. Romeo, it's, he just walks around as if he's got a helmet and elbow pads on and shin pads and, like, he just thinks he's protected. And he's, God, Even when he hits his head, everybody. he's like, he doesn't feel it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What was that, Dad? What? He'll be, like, crawling and... Oh, my God, yeah. He's just wild. <laughs> but he is a flirt out here, isn't he? He needs to oh, stop it. Yeah. He's the lady at Raising Cane's earlier was like because <laughs> I, I put the windows down to see the ducks oh, and I, I forgot to put them up so Romeo was just chilling out back just staring and then yeah pulled up to Raising Cane's she was like checker. hi cutie oh no hi handsome and Romeo was just there like flirting with her <laughs> and she said to He's me so you funny. got a flirter back there I was like yeah his name's Romeo it's after Romeo. all Romeo Right, anyway, guys, we're going to go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this longer vlog. If you made it all the way to the end, let me know in the comments because we appreciate you so much. Oh, today feels like the final day of, like, one chapter of life and tomorrow we'll enter a new one, you know, so I'm excited to take you guys along with us for the ride, as always. Guys, so much. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the see next video. See you in the next video. one. Love ya.